Hello, my name is Philip Schuhart. And this is Dustin Schleifer. And this is a video on the Wheeler Trash Dig. And uh, this is a four year dig project. And we recently are trying to get um, some money to get a track out, out there and make it a cave. And this is the resistivity study that we did. So we're flying around here. And I kind of screwed up the, uh, the camera angle. So how many lines of, uh, of resistivity did you guys do? Uh, we did three lines of resistivity. The first line is that big line you see right there, which we did at an interval of 2.5 feet for every uh, electrode. And we did that long line you see there uh, perpendicular to the first one, but that one kind of didn't really turn out very well. So we didn't throw that data on there. And the shorter one was, I think, 2.5 uh, foot interval as well. It was just we use a shorter line right in the near the entrance of the cave. All right, so um, the long line you see here, we uh, uh, Chris Prince did the resistivity study, and apparently that didn't come out too well. The long line did, but the other two came out real well. Um, the dig is right in the center of the two uh, the two profiles that you see there, and you can kind of we're gonna zoom in here in just a little bit. And see the the two large anomaly two large anomalies where the caves are. So here we're gonna zoom in. Have any other things to say, Dustin? Um, you'll you'll notice some like the uh, colors are different for the resistivity. Not just because they're done on different scales, but pretty much the most resistive sections are those dark purple areas surrounded by the red and yellow. So that usually would mean like a void is in that area. And you can see on the right hand side that there's kind of a large uh, vertical anomaly um, that we just passed, but those are the two large anomalies that you just saw there. So uh, I hope uh, you donate to the, the trash jig and thank you very much.